What's up guys, this uh, video is gonna be used to hopefully help you guys install a set of fog lights on your uh, Toyota Tacoma SR. So the dealership sells these trucks here without any uh, fog lights in them. So um, I was looking online and I noticed that uh, there's a lack of uh, video footage that kind of shows the process of how to install this, how to pop these uh, plastic uh, lids off and the wiring aspect of it so i do want to show you guys that process and hopefully it will help you guys out i did purchase a kit on amazon for close to like about i want to say uh i want to say about 50 bucks or so uh it did come with uh two fog lights um with the h11 bulb um here are the covers that, that are going to go on the tacoma this here i am a huge fan of i love the switch it kind of it gives it kind of that oem look though the color match probably won't be uh the same as what's already in the interior uh the aspect that they gave me a switch that is not just a regular um toggle switch or just a, a, a um you know a cheap uh aftermarket switch uh i appreciate the fact that they sent me something that is going to help me preserve that oem look uh, and then just the uh, the wires, the wire aspect of it. So uh, the hardest part of this installation is going to be getting this cable uh, through the firewall. So uh, I'll show you guys how we do that. All right, guys. So in your um, in your fog light kit, you have two terminals that you can separate. One that's going to go underneath the hood, that's going to connect to the fog lights, and the second terminal, which is going to have this green end here, which is going to connect to the switch inside. That one is going to have a, uh, a red cable, which has to be connected to some kind of power source. Uh, hopefully one that will connect to the ignition switch so your lights turn off when the keys are pulled out of the car. Uh, ground that goes anywhere on the chassis of the vehicle. And then this yellow cable here, this one has to run through the firewall. Uh, my kit came with a uh, extension. And so this cable here, this extension here, I have to run through here this end right here and so it is gonna be a little bit it's gonna be a little tough however it's pretty easily manipulated if you stick your hand in there you kind of pull back on that flap and so you got to just kind of get it in there push it through and you should be all right so once you do that um, let me show you where it's at on the inside too it might be easier from the inside than from the outside in um, so this is the inside of Tacoma. Uh, hang for a second, let me get down here. All right. So I'm over here on the driver's side. Um, if you look back here behind all the, where the fuse box is at and some of these cables are at, um, right in there, this is where that rubber piece is at. So you can also pull back here and then slide that cable through. Um, check it out. Alright guys, so here's a little trick to uh, getting this cable past the firewall. So get yourself a long uh, flat head. Um, you should have one at home. Take your extension cable that's supposed to run through the firewall and then let's go ahead and tape it up. Alright guys, so check this out. So I taped my extension out and now what I am going to do, I'm going to need two hands. I'm sorry I can't record this. However though, I am going to push down with the flat head and with my other hand assist as I guide this cable through this entrance here into the firewall. Um, I'll show you what it looks like once the uh, the flat heads all the way through. All right guys, so I have just pushed my flat head through. See there the cable is inside. Oh, let me get a little bit of focus. All right, so the cable is inside there over the top of that rubber seal and they should be able to spot it on the inside. Let's see. Here it is. All right, so I just took the tape off the flat head here. It's the extension of the red cable that I just passed through. I don't need a whole lot of cable in here. I guess I could. You want to adjust how much cable you want to pull in versus outside. I think this is more than enough. And so the rest, I think I'll leave it under the hood. 
And now I just all I gotta do is just pull out my screwdriver. All right, next up, guys. So this cable here is ran through the firewall. Next thing I need to do to connect my switch is I need to take this uh, screw out here, which is probably like a 10 millimeter bolt. I have one here, and I have another one here to remove this entire panel. All right, guys. So I've taken my three screws off, and then all you got to do is just pull on this panel here, give it a little bit of pressure, and then you'll see how the whole thing comes off. You stick your hand back here, because I mean, I'm gonna install my switch here. They gave me, uh, the, ins the installation kit gave me a switch. Uh, here it is, this switch here, it's gonna go in here. So all I wanna do is put my hand inside, give it a push, probably some clips there, and out comes the switch, there it goes. And then just go ahead and press your, um, grab your new switch and just go ahead and connect your new switch in there. And I'll show you what it's like. You know, guys, once you have your uh, lid off of there, you know, I'd probably suggest running your green cable through and then uh, connecting your switch. Probably make life a whole lot easier. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, just like so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect the switch and then we'll pop it in place. All right, guys, I have connected my switch here. Here it is. Um, definitely want this to be facing the right way. So you don't want to install it like this. You want to install it this way i've also pulled all my cables back uh, these three here and i'm gonna go ahead and uh push this back into place there it is look at that that looks pretty awesome so that's gonna be the fact no it's not a factory switch but it's gonna be pretty sleek and uh it has an oem feel to the dashboard because it just it, it goes right in there with the rest of them um so now you got to put this all back together and uh and then we can get to the next step. All right, guys, so now that you've bolted everything back together, make sure that the uh, SRS airbag plate is nice and flush with your trim and your uh, dashboard cover. Make sure that your button moves freely. Uh, it does not get stuck. And then you can move on to the next step, especially, oh yeah, make sure you've also put your, uh, your screws and your, your screws and your bolts back in. You have three of them to worry about. Um, all right, so moving on back to the cable. Um, this yellow cable here will definitely go connected to the red cable that got drawn in through the firewall. This black cable here needs to go connected to ground, so that's anywhere onto the metal chassis of the uh, or metal frame of the of the vehicle. I was actually uh, looking for a spot, and I think I might choose this bolt right here as ground. So I went out to AutoZone and I bought a fuse tap. Uh, this here is a fuse tap here. I bought some extra fuses, uh, 20, uh, 20 amp fuses. And then I took out the, the lid for, um, for the fuses underneath the steering wheel. And the one I want to tap into is going to be this one right here. It's a 15 amp and it, the description on it is a power outlet number two. And I tested it already. And this one does shut off with the uh, key ignition being pulled out. And it's a power outlet, so therefore, it won't interfere with the computer, and it won't give you any weird kind of reads, and it won't, you know, it won't uh, give you a check uh, check codes or anything like that. So, this is a pretty safe fuse to tap into. I went ahead and connected the um, the fuse tap uh, to my red cable, which goes to my uh, my power switch up here. Uh, so now that that's crimped and ready to go. The male portion here is going to go connected into the fuse box. This 15 amp fuse is the original fuse that I took off. That one will go in the first slot to the very top. So we want to go ahead and press that in there. Well, I'll probably have to use two hands. And the new fuse that I'm going to put in, it is going to be a 20 amp fuse. It's going to go in line with the fuse tap red line that's coming out here. So that's where that's going to go. So these two always have to be in line with each other. And that's going to be for the new uh, switch that you're connecting. And I think then you're set. You're to connect it in there. I'll show you when it's off. There's the, oh, there's the slot that I removed. And now I'm going to place this back in place. And there it is. I don't think I'll be able to put my cover back on. Which is a little unfortunate. 
because I really want this to be a part of this here. Um, so I'll probably just keep this this here in uh, my center console for the moment. This cover you can take off without removing the insides with a little bit of pressure. You can just kind of pop this cover off as needed. Let's see. They do have pins inside, but just like that, these covers come off and these will be replaced by the one inside your kit. These fog lights that are gonna go in only need to be screwed in in one spot and that's here where my finger is. And it needs to be screwed in from the inside. So you gotta do is you gotta open up the back side of the bumper and your kit should come with some screws just like this. And it's only one screw that goes here from the inside of the bumper. These two pegs here are gonna go inserted into these little slots here. You'll see there's some slots behind here. The two pegs go in there. This goes here. This one here is just gonna stay open and it's gonna stay free. I managed to open up the wheel well of the uh, inside part of the bumper. Here is the lens on the inside. My hand is also in here. So this is what I'm talking about. These two clips go inside there. This part here just sits right on top of this end here. And the the other mount that's down here, it's just gonna flow. And so screw it in from up here and you're all set. Line up all your clips. And once everything's nice and lined up, you might need a flathead. But you basically wanna line up all your clips with the existing uh, mount holes. Everything should clip into place and be nice and flush, just like the original. Now that your fogs are installed, you run your you run your cable through. Uh, this one here is the one that's going to run closest to the battery side. It does have your relay here. The yellow cable goes connected to the red cable that came out of the firewall. This red one here is going to go to the battery. Uh, and the other cables I just ran through the inside here of the truck. Same thing for the other one. There is a negative um, ground cable here. And I figured I will attach it to this bolt here for some ground. And the other cable turned out over here. All right, recap of the installation. Uh, the relay switch I mounted onto this bracket here. Sip tied the fuse box here. Um, this cable here I've wrapped around in, in some tape to make it a little more sleek. It is gonna wrap around the battery and it's gonna mount to the top of the battery right there. Um, once I'm ready for that, the rest of the cables went down through here. That one's gonna connect to that fog light. The other cable ran through here. I need to secure that with a zip tie. The ground cable that was that goes over to the right hand side of the fog light, I actually managed to bring up here and I, I found found it easier to just ground it here next to the uh, to the horn. Um, and this cable keeps running here. It runs over to let's see if I can find it. There it is. Here it is, it runs over to the inside part here and then connects over to the fog. So that is it for the video. These lights do work and they're ready to go. Hopefully this helps you in your installation. All right guys, so this is the finished product at nighttime. Just kinda wanna show you guys here. Uh, that's what your switch is gonna look like. Um, it's green, there's nothing you can do about it. I wish it wasn't green. I wish it was a different color, something lighter uh, that was closer to the uh, the rest of the colors on inside the dash but it's not so this is it uh nothing much you can really do about it but as far as the final installation uh this is it
came out pretty nice. I uh, swapped out the uh, original H11 bulbs and I actually went with um, LEDs all around. I did uh, LEDs at the very top and I also did LEDs at the very bottom. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys liked it, uh, leave me a comment or uh, shoot me a thumbs up. Um, and if you didn't like it, because it wasn't detailed enough, uh, chances are you shouldn't probably be modifying your car.